Hey guys, welcome to another video of Fusion Studios. So today we have reached the Iram Motors Mahindra showroom at Thrissur. And as you might already know, we are going to review the big daddy of SUVs. Yes, that is the Mahindra Scorpio 2022 model. So before getting into the video, if you want a test drive for Mahindra Scorpio, you can note down this number 9388655555. You don't need to worry. I have given their number and other details in the description below. Now coming back to the video, the Mahindra Scorpio comes at a price range of 11.99 lakh to 19.45 lakh ex showroom price. It have five different variants: set 2, set 4, set 6, set 8. set date luxury that comes in 7 seater and 6 seater variants and here we are going to review the set date luxury variant also mahindra scorpio comes in seven different colors dazzling silver deep forest green that we can see here grand canyon orange everest white napoli black red rage and the royal gold the dimensions of mahindra scorpio are 4662 mm in length 1917 mm in width and 1857 mm in height and it also have a wheelbase of 275 cm scorpio have the highest command seating in the suvs that gives you all round visibility it have other features like alexa built in Adrenos Connect, Electronic Stability Control, and the Driver Drowsiness Detector that triggers audio visual alert for the driver. It have a elevated bonnet and lofty shoulder line, and have Watts Link suspension. Some other features are frequency dependent damping and advanced shock absorbers equipped with MTV CL technology to reduce harsh impacts. We have the new Mahindra logo in the front, and below that we have the front parking camera. We can also see a powerful full-width front grille with premium chrome talons. Now moving on to the headlamps, we can see a silver element on the top, and we have the signature front double-barrel LED headlamps. And below that we have the LED turn indicators. Now moving down, we can see the fog lamps that is encased by a sting-like DRLs. that is in the shape of a scorpion tail and below the fog lamp we can see the front parking sensors now right under the front grille we can find hexagonal shape patterns here and also below that we can see a silver element the scorpio have electric orvm with sequential led turn indicators right here we can see the 18 inch diamond cut alloy wheels that comes with ventilated disc brakes on both front and rear this is the door handle and here we can find the manual keyhole and also at the center there is a chrome element on either sides of the mahindra scorpio we can find the sting chrome window line that is in the shape of a scorpion tail it also have foot steps on either side to get in and out of the vehicle easily now moving on to the top we get a sunroof for unhindered views and on either sides we can see silver colored roof rails And at the back there is a shark fin antenna. The Scorpio have a small body colored spoiler at the back and right below the spoiler we can see the brake light here. Now moving down here we can see the rear wiper and below on the left side we can see the door handles with the chrome element at the center to open the boot. And at the center we have the Mahindra logo and below that we have the rear parking camera. Now moving down here we can see a massive chrome element that goes around the bumper. Also we have four parking sensors at the back one is positioned here and the other one is over here and we can find the remaining two sensors symmetrically on the other side now moving down at the bottom we can find a silver finish and below there is the stepney tire and on the right side we have the exhaust pipe compared to the older scorpio the new scorpio have tall tail lamps and it blends perfectly with the design of the car the new scorpio comes with a total of 6 airbags and here at the back side we can see the adrenos branding and right below on the left rear side of the car we get a massive fuel lid and the fuel tank capacity is 57 liters now let's open the boot unlike other cars instead of opening vertically it opens horizontally we can also open the boot from inside using this silver colored door handle and it also comes with a lock the new mahindra scorpio have 460 liters boot space and it has double dump seat folding system of third and second rows to get a total of 786 liters of boot space so as you can see i have folded the third row seats and even now it gives a massive amount of storage space and also right about here we can find a 12 volt socket now moving on to the front when we open the hood we can find the insulation material on the top and below we can find the engine the new mahindra scorpio comes with a 2 liter m stallion turbo charged gasoline direct injection petrol engine that gives 149.14 kilowatt power and 380 nm of torque it also comes with 2.2 liter m hog all aluminum diesel engine that gives 128.6 kilowatt power 
and 400 nm of torque both have six speed manual and automatic transmissions and it have the shift by cable technology now moving on to the interior the mahindra scorpio have intelligent tech and human machine interface it also comes with rich coffee and black dual tone leather upholstery interiors on the left top of the door we can see the speakers and here we have the silver colored door handles and the door grips and also we can see the mirror and window controls and also the lock and unlock button and these are encased inside a piano black finish element the leather portions are very smooth and gives a premium feel and below here we have the storage compartment and on the left side we have the sony speaker now these are the rich coffee black leather upholstery seats which also have a smooth texture and it's very comfortable to sit on them these seats are six way electronically adjustable power seats and we have the controller over here we get a hand grip positioned over here on both sides of the front doors that is used to get in and out of the vehicle easily this is the electric power steering that have a mahindra logo at the center and on the left side we have controls like mute src volume controls seek controls call attending button call ending button and voice control now moving on to the right we have the cruise control button the mode changing button this button to set the cruise control and we have other controls like resume favorites etc now behind the steering wheel on the left side we have the wiper controls and here we have a button and we can set from auto pull or push options on or off options and also the speed control options on the right side we have the light controls we have the illumination auto on and off and we also get the turn indicators on the instrument cluster we have an analog rpm meter on the left and an analog speedometer on the right now moving further to the right we have a vertical ac vents here and we also have the start stop button and below that here we have the parking sensors button and on the right side we have the illumination control buttons for headlamps below we have the lever for opening the hood and here we have the clutch brake and accelerator with line patterns the scorpio have leather wrapped dashboards with metal finished dual rails and have the ac vents on top we also have a sony speaker and a sony branding at the center of the dashboard right beside the left ac vent we can see the scorpio branding and below that we have the glove box now moving to the center we have the 20.32 cm infotainment system and we can also see the vertical ac vents beside the infotainment system right below we can find some physical buttons for the infotainment system on the left we have a knob to control the volume and to mute and right beside that we have the music controller the call controller the home control button the back button the settings button and finally the favorites button and on the right side we have another knob that is used for tuning and also for selecting now below that we have the dual zone fully automatic temperature controls and beside that we have mode controls fan speed controls auto control and also the ac controls to increase or decrease the temperature below that we can find the sos button the camera switching button the auto hold button the hazard button the traction control button the hill hold button and finally the drive mode the new scorpio have four different modes like snow sand mud and normal road with four low and high gear options now below that we can find the passenger airbag and the seat belt indicators and on the right side we have the usb port and also the charging port and below that we have the wireless charging pad this is the six speed manual gearbox and right beside that we have the manual handbrakes and at the back we can see two cup holders and here we have the white leather handrest when we open the handrest we can find a small storage compartment now moving on to the top we can find a sony speaker here and here we can find the sunshade without a mirror that we can turn 180 degrees now moving on to the center we can find the led lights and between that we can find the sunroof controller and also below that we have the controllers for that led lights now this is how it looks when we turn on or off the led lights now right below the led light controllers we have the sunglass holder now moving down we have the central rear view mirror now on the other side of the door we also have the sony speaker and the handle grip and at the top we can see the massive sunroof we can open or close the sun shield manually like this now let me show you how to open and close the electronic sunroof we just need to push the sunroof button to open the sunroof and also to close the sunroof we just need to pull the sunroof button now let's check out the middle row of the car now when we open the back door here also we can find the dual tone coffee and black interiors and also here we have the silver colored door handles and the handle grips 
and below that we have the window controllers encased in piano black finish and at the bottom we have a small storage compartment and a speaker on both sides of the roof just above the door we can find the handle grip and also a hook that is used to hang anything the center row have a good amount of leg space as you can see here and at the central position we can see the ac vents and right below that we can see a controller that is used to control the fan speed of the AC vents and beside that we can find the fast charging port this is a 7 seater variant so to get to the third row we have a lever here and when we pull that lever the seat folds automatically in a single step so in this way we can get to the third row now right above the second row we can find the LED lights that we can turn on or off manually or automatically when we open or close the doors and on the third row we can see small LED lights with a button that is used to turn on or off and also we have the hand grips and beside that we have the rear speakers the side windows of the third row are very massive compared to other SUVs and it gives a better view of the outside for the passengers the third row passengers have a handle rest with a small storage space here and they also get the seat belts i'm currently sitting at the third row of the mahindra scorpio and it gives a decent amount of leg space this is the mahindra scorpio key and we have the lock or unlock buttons and we have the boot opening button now let's start the ignition so as you can see here, this is the 17.78 cm instrument cluster. Now let me show you different modes in the instrument cluster by clicking this button. So first we have the digital speed, then the vehicle info, navigation, settings, alert history, drive info and finally the fuel info. On the left top corner it shows the current time, then we have the current mode, then we have the digital temperature and below that it shows the range and the average kilometers. Then we can see the seat belt indicator lights, the total kilometer run, the temperature meter, then the current mode of the gear and finally the fuel meter. This is the 6 speed automatic transmission gearbox of the Mahindra Scorpio. Now without any further delay, let me show you the infotainment system with all its functions explained. First we have the settings option, on the left side we have quick settings that is the touch sound, clock in system off or on and the reset option for the home layout. And on the right side we have all the settings, so first let's check out the general settings. So inside general settings first we have the unit option, that is we can change from UK metric or US imperial. Also we have the factory reset option. Next we have the display settings. Now inside the brightness settings we have the daylight brightness and the night brightness. Both have the controls to adjust the brightness of the infotainment system and the instrument cluster. The night brightness settings have another option to adjust the brightness of the backlight of switches. Now inside the power and sleep option we can show the clock when the IVI system powers off. We also have the option to show a screensaver if the display is inactive for 60 seconds. We can also custom select the screensaver from the drive photos. The next option is the clock type option where we can set from analog or digital. The last one is the home layout where we can reset the home to its default layout. Next we have date and time settings. Inside the date and time settings we have sync to GPS option which syncs the date and time to the GPS. And also from the time zone option we can change the time zone manually. And next we have the audio settings. The Scorpio have a dual speaker system of Sony and they are placed with acoustic signs to feel every beat with 3D immersive audio. Now inside the 3D sound settings we have stage, party, breezy, 3D off and immersive 3D options. Next we have the sound field position where we can change the position of the sound according to our convenience. We also have a center button that is used to position it back to the center. We also have another option to change the size of the sound field. We have a small, mid and large options. Next we have the equalizer option where we can change the levels of bass, mid, treble and we have the subwoofer option. Next we have DSEE option which is digital sound enhancement engine that is used to increase the quality of the sound for a compressed audio file. Next we have SDVC that is speed dependent volume control that will automatically adjust the loudness and the audio EQ to maintain the tonal balance against the road noise. It have high, mid and low options. Next we have the volume settings to adjust the volume. First we have the voice recognition option for Alexa. Then we have the notification option. And next we have the phone option where we can change the volume of calls and ringtones. Next we have media option that is for Alexa media, Bluetooth media, music apps and radio. 
Now finally we have the USB volume controls. Now finally we have the default audio settings that will reset back to its original settings. Next we have the Alexa settings and when we click on that we get the option to get started. Alexa can be used to control music, navigation, call, vehicle functions etc. Next we have the phone settings. Inside phone settings first we have the bluetooth option to enable the bluetooth. Next we have the bluetooth device list, add device option, bluetooth discoverability option, the ringtone option where we can select from different ringtones when we get a call. Currently we have three different ringtones and also we have another option that is the custom ringtones where we can select any audio files to make it as the ringtone. Now finally we have the SMS settings. Inside the SMS settings we have enable SMS signature, configure SMS signature, enable SMS alert, configure auto reply options and also the SMS readout. Next we have the vehicle settings. Inside the vehicle settings we have the access controls that is selective unlock where upon activation only the driver door will be unlocked and next we have the service mode which when activated disables the vehicle remote functions next we have lights and illumination where the DRL will be activated automatically for better visibility next we have user input and feedback settings here we have screen touch feedback that is the button touch sound next we have voice alerts that we can enable or disable now moving on to the home screen we have shortcuts for radio music, phone, navigation and applications. It also supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can find that the UI is very smooth. It is because it is coupled with Snapdragon SD6 processor. Now swiping from top to bottom, we get some shortcuts like volume controls, mute option, SOS, roadside assistance, valet mode, notifications, help, radio, my drive, USB, Bluetooth, iPod and video. Now when we swipe from bottom to the top, we get another options like add folder, climate control, connected apps, documents, download manager, front view camera, gallery, horoscope, just dial, my drive manager, my SUV info, news update, honors manual and reverse view camera. Now when we click the reverse view camera, we can see the reverse parking camera here and we can also click this button to capture a screenshot. We also have different options on the top to change to different views. Now let's check out the front view camera. And when we click on that, we can see the view of the front parking camera. This one also has similar options. And when we click on the zoom button, we can zoom in or zoom out. Next, we have another option to change the view from the left side or the right side. The next option acts as a wide angle view. Now let's check out the My Drive Manager. So inside the My Drive Manager, we have different options like songs, video, photos, documents and favorites. So when we connect a USB, all the files will be shown there. Next we have the climate controls. Here we can set different temperatures for the driver and the co-passengers as per their preferences. So thank you for watching the video guys. I have given their contact number and other details in the description below. So make sure you check them out. And if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you have any doubts, comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell button to get our latest updates.